Hello everyone. This video was specifically designed for those several people who ask me the same questions over and over and over again. I am not upset. It's just that, uh, how about do a video <laughs> and show you guys how this is done. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use machine studio as a plugin inside of logic pro X. All right. If you have the micro or the MK1 or the MK2, it doesn't matter which version you have. This this is the same process, whichever one you have. All right. So basically, you want to make sure that you are on a instrument channel. All right. And typically, when you load up Logic Pro X, it's going to ask you what type of channel you want to launch. This is the instrument, this is the audio, this is the guitar, basically with uh, different amps already preloaded on this channel. And this is your drum channel, all right? You wanna go for the instrument channel and it will pull up this here. You can go in and relabel it. Usually, I relabel mine to say machine just so I know what it is because when you are programming inside a machine studio or uh, the regular machine or whatever one you have, um, the MIDI information will not show up here. The, the information will be inside of the app itself. All right. So when you're creating, you get down here and you, you know, you got several channels going on. You know, if you're like me, I like to keep my sessions clean. I like, you know, I don't like a bunch of instruments, empty instruments, you know, just laying them around, you know, I'll either fill them or delete them just so, you know, so if I have this labeled, then I know that that's my machine and not to touch that, all right? So how to get there, you can get there in two ways, all right? You can, while you clicked on the channel, whatever channel it is, you can actually go down here to the side and click here on instrument, or you can go to the mix screen by hitting X on your keyboard and go here to your instrument, your instrument plugins, all right? So, Basically, what you do is you kind of scroll all the way down to your AU instruments because that's where it will be. And through your several instruments that you have, depending on what you have on your setup, uh, native instruments should be there. And then you go to wherever the machine is. For in, in, in my instance, it's machine two because I had the machine one as well. So this is the older machine app and this is the newer one. So machine two. And depending on which one you want to go for, stereo or multi output, um, just depending on what you want to do. I typically go for the stereo one because I can mix inside of machine. I usually pan and set my levels and things like that while I do what I do inside of uh, machine studio. I was doing that on the, the Mark One version, so it really doesn't matter. I've never used the, the, the 16. I just if if I need to bring something out like individual sounds, you know, to to get a better mix control, say I want to do the mixing inside of Logic Pro X, I will usually click on that icon that lives over here. It's like a, a MIDI or a a audio. It's like a bounce down, you know, right right quick, and you can drag and drop. But because we don't have any sounds, you don't see those icons. I guess I can just throw something in right quick and just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. What will it be? Let's ignore that. My hard drive is not plugged up, so you guys can't really see what I'm, what I mean. But yeah, my hard drive is not connected right now. Sorry, guys, but it usually will live over here. I, I guess I can do a tutorial specific to how to 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 drag and drop. But this is here is just showing you how to find that plugin. And the, the good thing about Logic Pro X is now you, you have the ability with the new update, you have the ability to move stuff wherever you want. You know, and what I mean by that is, you, you know, how you have to always go down here and then go through all this stuff to find what you need. Well, I made my own folder. I call it Me Instruments. It should have been my instruments, but that's what I did. And now I can find those those favorite instruments that I love to use inside this folder that I created right here. See, I got my machine here. 
And you notice the other machine is not there because that's not my favorite. <laughs> but then all the other stuff that I, I that I love using it lives right in this folder that I made for myself. And and as well as other plugins, say I, I wanted to put a plugin on this channel, I uh, I made my own. You know, this the EQ, but I have a passive EQ. I got the Ozone EQ in here. See, this stuff it wasn't in here by default. I had to place that in here. And let's see if I can remember exactly how to do that. Uh, plugin manager. Simple. You go into plugin manager, and you can move stuff around. All right, move your plugins around in here, and really all your well, most of the plugins, I guess, third-party plugins live down here. And you just take this stuff, and you can actually select more than one. No, that's not how you move it. You don't move it like that. You move it like this. You have to go somewhere and move it like that. That's how you have to do that. So if I need to move an ample sound, which is a guitar sound, select on it. And just make sure you scroll to wherever you want to go. Say I want to add that in my me folder, my me instruments, and just drag it in there. And that's how I did that. And voila, all of these instruments that I love. And then for other, other plugins, you can do the same thing. All right. So I hope I was very helpful in uh, showing you guys how to uh, how to find that. And if you have everything set up properly, everything should work properly. If you are having or experiencing any problems with your, you know, you can't find it. That's obviously mean you didn't do something right. You had to validate everything, your your instruments, your native instrument stuff, and other 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 than that it, it it won't work so you have to make sure you're following the the, uh, the the instructions in order for you to see the plug in and then once you once you add everything in um the only thing that you will lose is the function the functionality of the transport buttons on your machine which means you cannot press play record you know i think that's the only thing you can't do play or record or nudging on like you would inside a machine standalone you can do all of that stuff inside of uh the standalone plugin but if you're using it as a plugin you can't hit the the record or play you can't use those functions on your machine everything is ran by logic pro x so you're using your your keyboard you know your your typing keyboard you hit the space bar to to play or stop or r to record you know the short key command or whatever or you can just go up here and hit r that's essentially how you would do that all right so that's the only thing about that now there's some other tutorials that shows you how to get those buttons working but this is not the the purpose of this tutorial i just want to show you guys how to do that all right remember music is art you're the artist paint your picture